We've just said that you actually can't hide anything on stage as an actor, which is the terrifying part now. There's no hiding. It's all there. But on the other hand, we do present a mask. And the mask is a kind of a freeing thing, the mask of a character, which we're all free to slip behind. I, I, I'm being indulgent here. How do we, how do those two things fit together? There's both a mask and there's both absolute nothing to hide. How do they fit together? I guess I'm not sure there is a mask. I think I used to think there was when I was younger. And I guess the older I get, the less certain I am that there is. Also, every actor works differently, you know. I mean, for some actors, slipping behind a mask, as you put it, is, a, as, and you say that, is a very freeing thing. And it means they can then become something else without uh, restraint because they believe they themselves are hidden. Um, I, I have found, I guess because I was so enamored of hiding behind something else when I was younger, that um, as I've gotten older, that very thing that enabled me to live in the world um, succeeded. It achieved what I needed it to achieve, and I became less shy, and I now can function quite nicely among people, thank you very much, although I am way older than, than 30, and certainly way older than I was five when, I, when yeah. I went into it for that reason. And so I found as that necessity, as it gave me that strength and that courage and that confidence to actually live in the world, then I discovered I had come to a, a place where that didn't serve me any longer. And I had to find other resources to, to be on stage. I'd come right. to the end of my um, craft, if you like. And I could see that if I opened that next door, there was a huge abyss waiting for me, and I wasn't quite sure I knew how to negotiate it. And it was quite terrifying. And it had to do with not hiding behind anything any longer and to do what I had argued for all my, my formative years um, was not what acting was. It had to do with being, um, I don't quite know how to put it, do, with, with, with being who I was, the person that I found within the part inside me, picking up those various strands of me and pulling them together. And there might be some strands of me that simply weren't usable for that particular part. So I wouldn't use those. And I'd use these others more strongly. I'd use these others to form this person who was not completely like me because those strands of me, although there, were not um, developed. But you are talking about self-discovery. Are you not yeah, I think discovering so. parts yes, of yourself that I were hidden so. to yourself until then? Were either hidden or simply not used, or not uh, acknowledged, or not needed, or didn't want to use them. 